What are you, what are you doing? This is my first time checking the P.O. box. I was supposed to do it the other day and I didn't. And look, you guys. Somebody sent you something? I got goodies. P.O. box 88043. Wow. So That's I got crazy. two parcels, one little one, one I have to pick up because it was too big to fit. Don't show the people's address. Ooh, you know what this is, you guys? Yeah. This is, have you heard of Unique 3D uh, Fiber Mascara? I got some to review for you guys. And this, I don't know what this is, but we'll see. Better be something for me. it is you guys gray and gloomy Ugh. summer is officially over today is 10 degrees celsius which is how much um, 48 yeah 48 that's Fair i'm wearing head. a jacket look at this guy bundled up I, I think it's i don't even think i have enough on it seems like a sweater it's chilly a scarf my face is cold especially <laughs> today i don't know why Right though, for some reason. So yeah, guys, it's Saturday. Happy weekend. If you noticed, the boy's face is bare. The beard is gone. Don't make any comments. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. How go? Oh, he looks so much better with his beard on. I know. So it's like an Aww, insult. If look you how think young you look. I look better with uh, a beard covering my face, that means you thought my face was ugly. That's not true. I just think a beard looks hot on you. You carry it well. You wear it well. I know. It gives me more chin. Yeah. So we're just on our way to the bank because... See if we can get some money. Yeah. To buy a house. We are outgrowing our condo, you guys. We're just outgrowing it. It's too small for us. We've outgrown it. The business is growing. Yeah. He's got more stuff. I've got more stuff. I went to go to the gym, so I'm getting bigger. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm going to grow this place. So we just are looking to get something larger and we're going to the bank to see if we can afford to see it. if they can uh yeah what they can do for us that'd be interesting so we didn't actually do anything at the bank other than make an appointment we have an appointment for monday so we'll keep you guys posted if they give us the money yeah now we're at home depot which is a hardware store you guys already know that probably yeah home depot's everywhere you guys know home depot right yeah, um, this coming weekend is the Toronto Natural Hair Show. I still have to do a video about it on my main channel. I'll probably put that up later. But anyways, it's next weekend and we're going to be vending on Sunday, September 21st. So we're here looking for ideas on how to display the earrings. So anyways, yeah, we're looking for ideas on how to hang the earrings. So let me show you what I was thinking. I was thinking to purchase one of these. Perforated boards, pegboard. <laughs> That's creepy. Wait, let me see your eyeball. Where is it? Oh, there's a hole. oh that's so creepy. <laughs> and um, I was gonna paint it black and then use these sort of leaned up on my table. I don't know. Do you guys think it's gonna look ghetto or not? I think if it's painted black, it would look nice. It'd be sort of a nice way to set off the earrings. He thinks it's a bad idea. I don't know. Let's show them option number two. Okay, this is option number two, which is called uh, this grid design louvers. So it's basically a big sheet of plastic in a grid pattern. <laughs> so I thought this is also a nice option, right? And it's so easy to hang earrings on it. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> do yourself trade show booth by Tony Daly. Hey. 
I think I tore some of my hairs. You tore some of your hairs? <laughs> you don't have any hairs. I don't hairs. have that much left. Aww. The tarot. The valuable real estate. <laughs> Looks like a roller coaster ride. Can I just move it more over here? Yeah. 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 Today is Tuesday, and um, we're on our way to get some lunch. We're starving. We're going to Subway. Okay, so I haven't chat with you guys in a while, so I want to let you know that we have not heard back from the bank yet whether we can get a larger mortgage. So I think I told you guys we have a condo in Toronto right now. We have a mortgage on that, but we need something bigger because we're outgrowing the condo. That's the problem, right? So what the boy... Yo, um, what do you want to drink? I don't want to do pop anymore. So get water. Or sunny, iced tea. Um, get juice then, lemonade. Um... So yeah, we're looking for something larger. That's what everybody's gonna think, eh? As soon as I put up a thing that we're gonna get in the house, broke. is that I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant, you guys. We need a larger yeah. house. Can you stop at, um, feeding fuel to the fire? One of these days I'm gonna fool her. Is it the same? She's gonna fall asleep. Huh? And what? What are you gonna do when I'm sleeping? Shh. <laughs> okay. your body. So anyways, um, what was I saying to you? So in Toronto, some of you guys asked actually about living in Toronto, what the cost of living in is Toronto like. So for the size of house that we're looking for now, which is two bedroom plus, um, in Toronto, you're looking at about 400000 to 600000 The average uh, house price is 600000 It's expensive to live in Toronto, which is why we have a condo. It's just the two of us. We didn't need a lot of space, but now that we're looking to upgrade, grow the business, we need another room, especially for my YouTube stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty expensive. Needless to say, I don't have $600,000. So, <gasps> I'm so sad about this guy. <laughs> We have to move to the suburbs. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is a fool. <laughs> so, how do you feel about moving to the suburbs? I don't like it, but what choice do I know, you guys. I'm so upset. Like, I feel like I have to buy a minivan and some culottes and cut my hair into a bob. I don't want to be a Coulots. soccer mom. Cool. Cool. are like those short pants that, you know. Capris? Yeah, capris. Look at you. I'm distressed about this, you guys. But yeah, if we move outside Toronto into one of the suburbs, then we can afford to get a two plus bedroom house for half the price that it would cost in Toronto, which is the high end of our budget, 300000 You have 300000 Sponsored by Subway. But maybe um, we'll be able to meet Latoya forever. She lives in the suburb of. Uh, Toronto called Ajax. I feel like she's like the type of person that doesn't really want to be our type of person. Maybe we would be friends. <clears throat> she's entertaining to me. I watch her vlog, so. I'm supposed to say it? Mm -hmm. God is good. God is great. Thank you for the food. And bless Tony and all her subscribers. Amen. Oh, amen. Alright, let's eat. So the suburb that we are considering moving to is called Ajax. It is about... 15 20 minutes outside of Toronto by car so I'm a little sad about it because you know you guys know everybody I hang out with like my sister and my nieces they all live in Toronto and I live really close to my nieces so I will definitely miss seeing them often because in Ajax it is a separate transit system it's not Toronto transit system so it's definitely harder to get to from Toronto if you don't drive but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to spread your roots, I guess. And my mom also lives outside of Toronto in a suburb called Whitby, which is about half hour outside of Toronto. So I guess technically we'd be closer to her. Uh, so I guess that's one positive, I don't know. 
what do you think about it? How about what? what? I was away. I was explaining to them that we would be closer to my mom, technically, but farther from like my nieces and my sister. Could be a good thing. Could be a good thing. Oh yeah, your mom's very religious. Yeah. Maybe we'll go to church. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Instead of the tavern. <laughs> the church of the tavern. This is everything that we need today. Pee pads for the dog, hand soap, toilet paper, envelopes, clip-on earrings, potatoes, broccoli, oh and God, soup bouillon. I have a special order for uh, somebody who needs their earrings in clip-ons, and I ran out of clip-on findings. One pair. So. We have to drive 10 miles. What if I mean 10 miles? Whatever. So I have to go and get the clip-on findings to make the earrings. Jerk style? Completely forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jerk style, baby. It's the friskiest one. The darkest one here. This guy. So we're getting a jerk style chicken from Walmart, which they are actually good, you guys. If your Walmart has jerk style chicken, pick one up and just take it off, just shred it. We just take it off the bone. We put it in pitas, we put it on salad. It's really good. For eight bucks, it'll feed the entire family because you have all the brown meat. Yeah. You have like the breast, then you have the breast and the thighs and all that sort of thing. You can cook, for us, it's two meals. Two good, lots of chicken meals. All right, groceries are done. Now we're going to the accessory store. This is called Fashion Jewelry Outlet. It's at Warden and Eglinton, and they have like, you know, the stuff to, if you make jewelry, like earring hooks and jump rings and all that kind of stuff, beads, if you're into beaded stuff. So I'm just going to go in here really quick to get some, the backings that you put on to clip on earrings just so I can make the clip-on earrings for that one order that I have. So I got the accessories that I needed for my earrings and as you can see, we are now on our way to the grocery store by our house. Why are we going to the grocery store, you might ask, after just doing groceries? <laughs> that dog of mine that we left in the car the ate the whole damn chicken. I'm sorry for my language, you guys. I know I don't normally swear, but I'm pissed. Like, I want to skin the dog. She ate the whole of the jerk chicken. Like, not some of it, you know. The whole of this. Like, I'm so mad right now. I hope her ass burns her, you see, tonight. Good, while you're eating jerk chicken. You know what I mean? She better find a way to pay me back my $7. <laughs> I'm so upset, you guys. Like, I know it's funny, but I'm so upset. Huh? $8. $8. I'm yelling in the grocery store. I can't help it, I'm upset. So, we're at Gro uh, Metro to buy one of their stupid chickens. It's not gonna stupid be jerk, chicken. Though. It's not jerk. Because <laughs> I can't believe this dog, you know. Like, I cannot believe this dog. Look what I ordered, guys. It's a TonyDaily.com mouse pad. I love it. 